What's going on guys? I'm a regular guy with the Regular Guy Firearms channel. Thanks for watching. And with me I have... Uh, Reed Harris Valorich. Alright, so um, over the last couple of days I, did, I just been taking Rifleman 2 here and there was actually a really dis good discussion within it that I wanted to make a video on. Uh, mostly because, and I'm sure that you're aware of this too, like every single time that you start shooting stuff farther away or start talking about like barrel lengths or whatever, mm -hmm. There's always just a list of experts underneath that. It's like, oh, you need this very specific $40,000 thing to right. run it. Um, so we wanted to approach an ammo discussion without getting ridiculous with it, really. So um, as far as, like, first of all, I really want to approach it in the way that, you know, like your M855 for your ARs and stuff like that, your com block ammo for your AKs, like the 7 and 6, the Russian mill serp stuff, that's, that's all going to work. And it's gonna it's gonna hurt, you know, and you're probably gonna change up how you act when you're hit by it. But the both of us have a list of uh, ammo that we've used for a while. Like I'm, and we just have varying experiences with, and we have a target sitting here that we can show you. Mm -hmm. what, it was what two guns, two guns, two different guns, and five different loads of, of ammo brands and weights. Yeah, and you guys were shifting between like fifty and freaking. That's a hundred yard. Target. Okay, that's a hundred yard target, yeah. and. Just the varying performance between the 50 and 600. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, most of the stuff that that I mess with is between almost zero and three. Right. You know, because of limitations. Sure. There's, there's a reason I'm here. Yeah. So, but um, yeah. I mean, as far as just because there's a lot of different types for you know the 556 five, guns. Like, a couple of preferences. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, talking about ammo, like. Use is going to be your big thing, and I'm sure most of y'all watching this, when you watch uh, the channel here, it, there's good information there. But I think the main reason what we're talking about is, is defense ammo or just a good all around load that you can use. The ball stuff is great for practice, like the XM 193 or the you know the Wolf Gold or whatever, or that green tip stuff. That's good for practice. And as Chris said, you know, I mean, if you hit somebody with it, they're going to alter their behavior. But we have better choices. I mean, this is 2016, and there's been a lot of good research on it, and we talk about things, there's great choices for not only home defense, but just good general purpose stuff. That's gonna cost a little more, mm -hmm. but you're gonna get a lot more out of it too. Not only terminal performance on people, but uh, just better accuracy as well. Yeah, I mean, the, the way uh, the way that I think about it is that there's a difference between like, as far as a pistol, there's the difference between the cardboard killing ammo right. and, the, and the bad guy killing ammo. Right. You know, so yeah, there's there's gonna be more cost incurred and stuff like that. But you know, by all means, like the the Wolf 62 grain, like what I shot, you know, all weekend. Yeah, you, you can get it done, and yeah, you can get it done at 600 and whatnot. Like yeah, he did it. He did it pretty regular, 600 yeah. yard hits with a uh, with your 14 and a half inch carbine. Yeah, granted, I'm not gonna make it sound ridiculous. Yeah, <laughs> wind was trying to push us around a lot, um, but you know, so as far as just ammos that you like. Go. Yeah, um, what I what I like for defense and just the general all-purpose load is, is like uh, heavier bullets. I really prefer heavier stuff, like a 77 or a 75. You got great options there. You know, Black Hills makes a good one. Um, IMI makes a good one. Mm -hmm. uh, Barnes makes a really nice 70 grain copper solid, and these are all 556 five, loadings. Yeah. And Hornady does a really good job. The too. tap, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's a good one. Um, also, actually, I'm pretty partial to uh, to the 62s and 64 grain spear gold dot. Yeah. Uh, low recoiling. And yeah. And it's good bonded. It's a bonded bullet. It's it's yeah. good in. Uh, some people say it's good for barriers, but I mean, like in our house, like I don't I don't want to shoot through barriers. I want to shoot onto people that are trying to break in. Yeah. But even then, um, it expands nicely and it, and it tends to stay put. Yeah. And and as far I mean, I'll, I get this I get like outlandish questions every once in a while and stuff like that too. And someone's gonna bring up like a windshield comment or something. <laughs> you know. And, and matter of fact. Yeah, it, it does just fine against windshields, you know, and that's actually really hard. Bullets mess with, or windshields mess with bullets really, really hard. So it's that's kind of a freak in its own right. Right. So police officers that probably apply to you like the gold dot or the or something bonded. Yeah. Um, everybody else like shoot or drive, not both. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And, and it, the the AK guys on that are on the channel are gonna ask, okay, well, what about you know the Kalash? Um, for a 762 by 39 uh, Horn actually, in the, and in the 545, I've seen that very little, but I've seen that before too. Uh, Hornady does good stuff for them as well. Um, but most of the time, honestly, like the com block mill serve stuff works really good, like really good. Uh, yeah. Performance boost, 
from like an outside from that source company it's usually a little bit better but it's not crazy yeah um if you're gonna use ball guys for 760 by 39 like uh, i would lean towards a golden tiger uh it tends to penetrate a little less than the wolf or the or the surplus stuff that you were shooting yeah 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 um, for sure hornady does make it going for you 762 shooters and sst mm -hmm. um one of our instructors jj shot a deer at 220 yards the other day with it and pretty much it dropped instantly uh, copper solids too would be going for you guys yeah. uh, running 762 by 39 so if you want to go with a Winchester PDX great load mm -hmm. and the Corbon makes a really good load for that too expensive yeah. guys like you're gonna pay for it but yeah. just put a couple mags of it away yeah and, and again it would be the same like if you know the guns you carry every day you know the difference between you know you're you're just blasting stuff okay that's like 20 cents around versus yeah. you know your 80 cents around good stuff from like spear or whoever right you know? Um, so always, and, and we had the discussion here, but always there's going to be a guy that brings in <laughs> like, like his micrometer and all kinds of random stuff saying, okay, it, it, there's just an astronomical difference right. between all these different loads and we're going to get them here too, even yeah. after they see the evidence. Right. It's, they, yeah. yeah. It's going to be false to them. Mm -hmm. But here, uh, here's that 100 yard line target. And that was two guns and five different types of ammo at a hundred. Yeah. And not much shift. I mean, less than the palm of your hand, guys. Like, like probably half the size of the palm of your hand. Yeah. Variation: two guns, five different loads, different bullet weights, different brands. Yeah. Well, crazy how there isn't much <laughs> to, how there isn't that much to it. No. Um, for self defense, that's going to be good enough for for anybody. Yeah. So I mean. Without without dragging it out and without getting really really ridiculous with it, we figured that we would just come out and and talk about this. And I'm I'm glad that after a class you, you were gonna go ahead and talk about this. Yeah. Cause we did, I, did, I get did it. Hard pretty good the last couple of days. Yeah, I mean I get it. You're smoked. Um, it's all right. We, we class just left like this room right here. We just said yeah. a, a rifleman too in case. Um, I actually everybody six hundred yard shots this last couple oh, of yeah. days. It's solid. Um, with with all that horrible ball ammo, right? Yeah, um, yeah, stuff that just won't make it out there, <laughs> you know. Um, so, you, so with your challenge, you guys talking about ammo and stuff, and uh, you know this variable, this variable. Go out and shoot, guys. Yeah, like he'll tell you, go out and shoot, verify it at different distances. Mm -hmm. You know, show them yourself, show yourself what you can do, yeah. and you'd be surprised. Yeah, and really, it honestly, I, I really do believe that most of the time when you get the massive differences, quote unquote, are just from dudes that. You know, in this weekend, this weekend we've seen more rounds fired than that dude's gonna see in his entire life. Um, Don't but buy the hype. yeah, yeah. But um, with all that said, I mean, again, thanks. Uh, like right when we were getting ready to walk out of here, I was just kind of like, I really, really hate having to ask you to work more. <laughs> it's not work. But <laughs> it's not work. But but for sure, I'm I'm glad that you're gracious enough to step in with me on this one. But well, I'm glad to have you. You did really well. Um, every time that you come out here, you get better. I see the improvements. I see the consistent practice. So, man, you're you're really forming into a very and, uh, a good shooter. Yeah, and about every time I've been here, I've, I've brought out something just weird and something <laughs> I'm not used to. And you, you get handed in a little slice of humble pie. So, you know, just being rounded and all that jazz. But, yeah. Um, unless you got anything to add, no, I'm just glad if you're glad to be on your channel. I'd like to talk to some of your subscribers. Probably all the same ones, so uh, yeah, that, you get I'm, a double video. <laughs> yeah, I mean, chances are if you watch them, you watch me. Hmm. But um, but yeah, with all that being said, remember, guys, a regular guy's firearm is the last defense against tyranny.